Hello folks, once again, around and about the house, I found one of these guys, we'll call him Jeff. Uh, so here's Jeff, as we come in here, I'm gonna show you the infra-inguinal and supra-inguinal approaches to the fascia iliaca block. This muscle bolt we're approaching here, very, very lateral, is the tensor fascia lata muscle. And then just medial to that, you've got the sartorius moving across the thigh, so come back out, you can see sartorius. The nerve running over sartorius is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Just medial to sartorius, you've got iliacus, and even more medial is psoas. So we call that the ilia psoas muscle. So if you're doing an infra inguinal fascia iliaca block, you're literally coming in from lateral to medial and popping local anesthetic deep to the fascia lata and the fascia iliaca. And as you do that, you can see how you might inject local anesthetic right in that plane where the femoral nerve is, and you can just see the femoral nerve lying here on the body or belly of ilia psoas with the femoral artery and femoral vein medially. So that's kind of a, a, um, a suboptimal femoral nerve block, but you're getting in that fascia uh, and you put a large volume of local anesthetic with the aim to also get the lateral femoral cutaneous. If we're really lucky, you dive right the way down here and you get the obturator too. So what about the supra-inguinal fascia iliaca block? Well, you, we talk about that bow tie that you get on the ultrasound screen, and that bow tie is formed by this muscle over here, the sartorius being the lateral component, medial to that, the ilia psoas, and then even more medial, that muscle that you just see there, which is the internal oblique. So we're taking a slice in that orientation, and you'll notice as we go in, there's the sartorius, there's the ilia psoas, and I've highlighted in purple the deep circumflex iliac artery. And that is the artery, when we inject local anesthetic underneath the fascia iliaca, that's the artery we want to see lifting up. And you can see now why local anesthetic spread in this area. You can get the femoral nerve, the lateral femoral cutaneous, but also it spreads right the way up. And we aim to block those proximal branches of the lumbar plexus. So there we go. Thanks, Jeff. That is Jeff lying on my dining room table.